The Peconic River is perhaps the largest ground-fed river on Long Island. Its headwaters starts in Upton at the Brookhaven National Lab and flows eastward to Riverhead to its mouth and then into the Peconic Estuary. One of the main migratory fish in the Peconic River is the alewife, a diadromous species, meaning it lives in the saltwater and comes back to freshwater to spawn. The alewife is a fish that migrates up into freshwater to spawn and spends most of its life out in the ocean. Its populations are really in trouble these days. It's been nominated to be uh, listed as an endangered species, so that hasn't happened this year but may happen at some point in the future. Um, in addition to problems in fisheries in the ocean that are hurting it, its spawning habitat has been significantly reduced, especially in the eastern seaboard of the U.S. So many of our rivers and streams have been dammed up over the years for power and agriculture and recreation. And so one issue that we're working hard on here on Long Island is restoring access from, of those fish to their spawning habitat upstream in the freshwater. We've kind of really been in the middle of this effort to, to restore these fish across the island and organize the various uh, entities working on it within their own jurisdiction. So I feel like one of the things we do is just is sort of organize uh, these people who, are, who may not otherwise be talking to each other and, uh, and, and sort of so have more of a collective effort. You know, we're all, there's not a lot of funding behind this, so we're all doing a little bit of it. This project that started right here in the Peconic River uh, in 1995, when, when uh, uh, Byron Young and others started with buckets lifting fish over the dam. And that was really the first uh, alewife restoration work on Long Island. They sit, after that, they put a temporary fish ladder in. And then in 2008, 2009, they, they built the, rock, the permanent rock ramp there. And this run we're seeing here at this little, what's called the a little river here at Woodhull Dam, is the product of that work. So these, you know, tens of thousands of fish coming here that are, are now stuck, of course. And so what we're trying to do is incrementally just keep moving these fish further upstream and reconnecting them to their historic spawning habitats. My role is managing the freshwater fish resources. So when the alewife come into freshwater, then I get involved. Um, the freshwater fish that live here all the time benefit when alewife come in because it gives them something to eat. So we're promoting whenever we can improving fish passage. We also regulate dams through our dam safety program. That part of the DEC requires that any work done on a dam bring the dam up to safety code, make sure that the work is done in such a way that it doesn't make the dam less safe. That involves a lot of engineering, a lot of uh, planning, and can uh, unfortunately slow down the process of adding fish passage. But in the end, you'll end up with a safer dam and fish passage, which is what we really want. We know these fish have been coming in and, and gathering here at Woodhull over the past couple years, and we've been trying to get people here to see it. So when we realized that the Suffolk County Legislature was going to be meeting here at the county center uh, in April, right across the street, we thought it was a great opportunity, uh, if we could get their attention, you know, to come across the street and see these fish. I mean, I could talk about alewife till I'm blue in the face, Byron can talk about it, we can all talk about it, but you know, seeing the fish, trying to jump up this uh, dam, gathering here in this pool really drives it home, I think. You know, it's a compelling scene. The thousands and thousands of fish stuck at a dam uh, with habitat upstream that they could be using. So it helps them understand the, the importance of these alewife runs, the fact that they're here. Um, we're, we're, you know, we're using it to support fish passage at this facility and others. So there's going to be a fish ladder put in here, uh, hopefully within the next two to three years, that would get these fish through this dam and into the Wildwood Lake area. Uh, but we have other areas that we're looking at fish passage. So it's, it's important to have you know, successes to show people. The, the run here is a result of the success at Grangeville Park and the fish ladder there. Uh, these fish can now pass that dam pretty much unmolested. They, they can make it through. Um, there's very little maintenance. It's a natural fish pass. We want to get this population back to several hundred thousand fish a year running up this system. Um, and then if we can get some of the other systems to do the same thing, we will rebuild our local alewife run, which then would help local fishermen. You know, there's a few folks that would like to get something to eat. There are folks that would like to get them for bait. 
um, and it just it helps all of the creatures that reside on and around the, the river. So the birds, the animals, the fish, um, and it removes it moves nutrients, brings nutrients from the ocean into the freshwater system, and takes nutrients from the freshwater system back to the ocean. So that exchange of nutrients is an important component. For more information on fish migration in the Peconic River, please go to www.peconicestuary.org.